Hi everyone, my name is Sadie, an AI educator and assistant professor of AI. In this video, I want to walk you through an AI agent I built in N8N, which is a low-code, no-code platform for building workflows and AI agents. This AI agent automates the process of finding jobs that match your resume and for those jobs that are a good match for your background and resume it provides you with a proper cover letter a powered automation is taking off right now and this year has become the year of automation and AI agents. Just like any new technology, such as Bitcoin and internet, there are so many people who ignore the possibilities just because they think it's a little bit technical and complex. Don't be one of them. Watch until the end because I'm gonna walk you through all these steps and show you how this AI agent works to achieve the goal. Without further ado, let's dive in. All right. This workflow has four parts. I'm going to explain what each part does and then go through each node one by one and explain the details. The first part retrieves job data from platforms. I'm using adzona.com for multiple reasons. One, because it uh, has a huge pool of jobs in my background and two, because it offers free API. But there are multiple other options for job searching platforms. After grabbing the jobs, after receiving the job, the second part analyzes the job and scores them against my resume. And then the third part writes cover letter for jobs that are good match. And, and finally, this workflow sends all the results like the jobs that are good match plus the prop, a proper cover letter for each to my email. Okay, let's get to the detail of each node. All right. Okay, so the first part receives job data from adzona.com. Obviously, each workflow needs a trigger and the trigger can be anything such as chat conversation, specific time of the day, or simply a form that whenever someone submits it, this workflow starts working. For me, it's time of the day. Every morning at 7 a.m., my workflow starts working, searches for the job, and compiles a list of jobs that align with my requirements or filters here. Basically, you can have another node here or a set node here and impose the filters dynamically. But I wanted to make this very simple for the purpose of this video. That's why I put everything as hard coded into the HTTPS node. So this node basically gets the information of the jobs from zona.com. As you see, the method is get and you need a URL and the URL kind of sets the search for adzona.com. Uh, think of adzona as a search platform, such as Indeed or LinkedIn job. You have to search for a title, job title, and determine some filters, so, such as the minimum salary or the city and some other filters. I am searching for data scientists and the location is New York, and the minimum salary is $100,000, right? This is where you put app ID and your API code from adzona.com. But I blurred this because API key and app ID are kind of secret <laughs> data. You shouldn't share them with anybody, and that's specifically for you. Keep it private, and that's why here you see blurry um numbers here okay so this is the https node now i have a list of jobs from adzona that align with my filters uh, in the second part which is analyzing and scoring jobs against resume first i have to split that list because in, initially i received a list of jobs from adzona right it's kind of like in programming we have a for loop this for loop goes on and like examines every item in the list and finish its job whenever all the items in that list are examined and worked on. So that's basically it. And then each job moves to summarize job nodes with it, which is an AI agent. This AI agent again is connected to OpenAI using another API. 
If you don't know how to set up the credential for language model, I explained in the video in the caption how you can set them up. But again, here you can use different LM models. I'm using OpenAI because it's I'm more comfortable with it. I've used it before and setting up the API is super easy. So here, uh, basically this workflow summarizes the job and so I have the credential, which is using again, API key resources text that I'm receiving from job description. And the operation is message and model and the model you can select any model you want. And usually for a task like this, we prefer to use a model that it's not super expensive, but it still does a good job. But if you want to be more sophisticated, you definitely can use models that are more expensive or more advanced or newer. So I've asked it to be an AI assistant and extract the following field from the provided job JSON and return only a single JSON object in this exact form. So I want the job title, I want company name, location, salary, and a short summary of the video. And then there are some rules. I'm going to post this AI agent template to my website, a link in my bio, and also this video, you can definitely download it for free and update the as you wish. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, and the role is obviously system. And I told this AI agent that I'm going to provide you with job description. That's going to be another role, which is user information that is provided, being provided. And that comes as job data. After this node is run, then the outcome of it, which is the summary goes to the score job node. Here we have two parts. We have a system prompt that kind of determines what this AI agent should do. It's kind of like ChatGPT. It's kind of like telling ChatGPT that I want you do something with the file I'm attaching to this conversation, right? That's basically the same thing. It's kind of like a rack system that you give extra information to AI, right? So basically here we have the system prompt plus the document you attach to ChatGPT using that plus sign in the conversation, right? And then it scores it for you, but let me show you the prompt for you. Again, this prompt is very minimal and simple. If you want good results from this workflow, you definitely need to work and on this prompt and customize it as much as you can based on your needs. So that's something to keep in mind. You are an AI assistant. You will receive a job description and candidate and a candidate resume. Evaluate how well the candidate matches the job based on skills, experience, and overall fit. And there are some other things I wanted to return, such as the score, title, company name, location, salary, and short summary. And there are again some rules. Uh, again, the link for this template is in the caption on my website. So you can definitely download it for free. This was the second part. The third part is writing the cover letter for jobs that are good match. And then this if node basically filters out the ones that are not a good match. So I assume any job higher than three or maybe four is a good match. So I put this condition here that the job score I'm receiving from previous nodes should be either three or higher. So we can assume that job is a good match. And this is how the if function works. If it is a good match, it's higher than three. It goes to write cover letter agent again. Again, we need credential, which is the same API we have been using for the other A agents. The operation is again, message model. I'm using the same model as the previous agents, which is GPT 3.5 Turbo. And again, we have a system that requires guidance, which is this prompt, right? The first prompt. And then we also have a text, which is coming from user's resume, because obviously when you want to write a cover letter for a job, you need a resume, right? So basically we have two different text box. One is for system prompt. Let me show you what that is. You are an AI assistant that writes professional cover letter. You will receive a job description in the next text box. 
and write a tailor cover letter. As you see, this is very simple. It's not customized at all, and it's definitely not optimized. But if you want this workflow to work well, you need to work on these prompts as much as you can. And then the other text box is basically my resume. So I kind of summarized my resume because I didn't want to overwhelm the workflow. I encountered some issues previously because here you see how we have output, the option of output content as JSON. Uh, I deactivated that because when it was activated, it wouldn't give me like, let's say four job pass through that if function. It, it wouldn't give me four cover letter. It only would give me just one because of some contradiction, my AI agent kind of encountered with type of JSON files. So that's something you can consider. But something that I've learned working with AI agents is that there are so many different options. If you're not super technical and you don't know how to code, there are some things that might not make sense to you, but you obviously can uh, kind of figure them out by playing around with different options in these notes. Okay, so after the cover letter is done here, I have a code note, which is kind of compiling everything I've produced previously up to this point. This is actually very simple code, but if you don't know how to code, it's okay. You can ask ChatGPT to help you out. You see how we have this ask AI option here. You can also ask that, but what I'm basically doing here is preparing the email that is supposed to be sent to the user. So here are your perfect match along with their cover letter. And then there is four loop for each cover letter we have. Each job has a title, a company, and a cover letter. You definitely can customize this to add more stuff to it, like link of the job and minimum salary, location. Yeah, so this was the code which I put here to compile everything I had previously along with the cover letter and information of the job. And then the last node is, I should have renamed this node. I don't know why I haven't. Um, let's rename it. You know what? Okay, let's rename it, compile email maybe. Okay. And then, and this Gmail node is the last node I have this in this workflow that basically emails whatever I compiled in the previous node to the user. Here uh, for connecting your email or connecting your Gmail, you need to set up credentials. I explained all of that in the other video attached to this. So basically what I'm doing here is using my Gmail account to send the message, operation is sent to my other email, right? It's basically the same email. Yeah, that's actually the same email. So I'm sending email to this address. So the subject is your perfect matches here and the email type is HTML. Um, it can be also text, but HTML is okay. And this message is whatever I'm receiving from the previous node. As soon as this we run this workflow, an email well, is going to be sent to the address specified in this Gmail node. Let me update it. I have a hard time. Email results. I don't know. I always have a hard time naming nodes and yeah. Okay. So this was what I have. Let me show you the entire workflow again. But one thing that is very important is saving your workflow quite often because I've lost many workflows, which is super painful because you spend so much time on it and you don't want to lose it. And that's the entire workflow. Uh, so it pulls live data from Adzona and then generates cover letter for jobs that are great match and email them to you. 
If you want me to go deeper and show you how the APIs for different parts of this workflow work or want me to show you how I come up with the prompt, let me know in the comment and I'll do that for you. And you can access this workflow from the link in the comment, which is on my website for free. My website is sadiemir.com in the bio. If you want to check it out, there are tons of other hair agent templates and some other free stuff you can look at. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more AI agent and automation workflows like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.